originality. So I think all these um, uh, attributes, you know, are, are something that forever mark uh, and now in association with Nathan Das, they really, really, uh, you know, stand out for as a brand. Um, so that's why I'm here with them today. Okay, Nimrat doesn't need an introduction, you know, how she going to help the brand? So, Nathan Das or forever mark, they're already a well-known brand. But somebody like Nimrat comes on, the, comes on board. So we have, we have a concept called Friends of Forever Mark. So we have, you know, people from various walks of life who we think you know, true magicians in the world field. I mean, she from what the walk of life she comes from. We have people who represent fashion industry. And I think it's really a celebration of things that are good and, and celebrating craftsmanship in a certain manner, celebrating talent in a certain manner. So she's a friend of Forema. We've worked with together on some projects before and I'm sure we, we as friends, we all help one another. And that's the key for us. Okay, if you can, if you can do something. I think associated with Nimrat is also very good. I don't think she's a very good celebrity, a great star. And it always helps us in our brand also. Remember the very first diamond you got? Uh, actually, it was a pair of earrings my mother gifted me about three and a half years ago. Uh, so that's very dear to me. Okay, what are the, what are the jewelry you, know, you, you normally carry with you? With yourself, especially? I'm actually very bad with carrying jewelry, so <laughs> I'm very afraid of uh, you know uh, losing my jewelry and things like that. So I keep it very light and easy. So. Um, but if I do, it's very minimum, uh, bare, basic stuff that I can um, match with Indian outfits as well as um, Western outfits. Um, I'm a little bit minimalistic with my jewelry. I like a less is more theme, um, as I've said before. Uh, so yeah. Okay, what is your fashion mantra? Tell us the, the outfit you're wearing today. It's a Tanya Khanuja dress. Uh, my fashion mantra, really, I don't, I don't really have a fashion mantra as such, but I think I like to uh, experiment with different styles. Uh, I don't really conform to a certain kind of uh, style statement all the time. I don't go out of my way to create one. I find that a lot of pressure. As long as it's something I feel good in and something that uh, you know, flatters my uh, personality and my just just my style. That, that. You you are one of the finest actors in the industry. You know, post airlift, though you already done long post, how life changed? How much I would uh, say. That? Thank you. I think it's been a really uh, blessed journey. Uh, God has been very kind to me, uh, starting with the lunchbox and then I've worked on a couple of projects abroad. Uh, then Airlift was a really, really great journey from the beginning to the, f you know, to the release and post the release with the way the film was released, uh, received by the audience. Um, it's been a really, really blessed journey. That's what I can, I can definitely say. I feel very, very lucky to be here today. Um, uh, there is just so much love and just so much acceptance and uh, appreciation for one's work. I can only hope to be able to continue doing that and to not uh, disappoint. And I'm, I'm working my hardest best. Okay, that's the reason. That's the reason. Please continue. Sorry. How would you say your style has evolved over the from the time you entered Bollywood? I think I know better about what not to do now than. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so. That's all. You know, that as girls, we, we kind of keep evolving our style in our wardrobe expands, explodes, then there are times when you clean everything up and you're like, I don't need 55 colors of the same outfit. You know, I, I tend to do that. I, I, If I like something, I'll buy five colors in the same thing because I can't decide. I have those issues, never mind that, you know, for another day. But um, I think what I like to know now, uh, what I know that I that I'm better at now is to know what I don't want to do and what I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> yeah, so, so the elimination process has become... One tip that you want to give girls to not do? Uh, dress according to the weather. I think I think uh, that's that's always very important. We live in a very hot and humid country as we can all see. We're all melting over. Uh, but uh, it, it's, it's always a good plan to wear fabrics and whether it's your shoes or accessories or anything that are uh, in tandem with the weather. You don't want to be caught in gum boots in Delhi in the summer. Anyone, oh. any wardrobe staples? I'm so sorry. Yeah, please. Any wardrobe staples that you have? I love a uh, crisp white shirt, actually. I really love that. I think um, that's something that you can uh, wear with, uh, you know, a skirt or, you know, a nice pair of torn jeans. You know, you can dress it up. You can wear a lovely 
just some just accessorize it and I love that. I love to have a nice white shirt. Okay, you know what what happening on professional front was then the five thing? Uh well I'm I'm very close to signing what I'm about to do next. Uh so as and when the time comes, you know, we're just in process of that. Uh there will be an announcement about it. It's it's something that I haven't attempted before. It should be interesting, uh God willing, so there will be an announcement. So it means you're saying you you we will see you doing action. Oh actually yeah, it's very close to that. <laughs> <laughs> your whatever you are thinking is kind of on the right lines <laughs> okay there was also news that you are going to be a part of gold are those rumors true gold yeah oh, akshay kumar akshay kumar's movie no i I'm, i'm afraid i have i have no such rumors yet so. okay something out of the box though everything is over you know it's it's good we are asking this question when everything is over everything is sorted out we've been months and at the mushkil it's getting released everything is sorted out So, what's your take being a part of the industry? Uh, Shivai and I really mostly living living the same day. So, I really mostly have you know seen so many controversies. Now everything sorted out. What's your take on that? I wish both the films all the very best. Uh, as an artist, you want every film to do well. As a part of the industry, it makes everything better for everybody when films do well. As we all know. uh there's a big dominoes effect of of something not doing well it, it trickles down to the lowest level uh so as an artist working here i want every film to do the best kind of business that can possibly uh be uh you know its destiny and uh, very very happy that everything uh, is settled and uh you know very really looking forward to watching both the films okay uh, the, last, the last the last one for the last one the last one i can see is uh nimrat do you said this right now it will be a surprise for all of us you know you want to announce us what 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 you going to sign it is do you already work with akshay and arvik is he is the one who who suggested you go for this you know do some action or something like that um no i mean not he's not uh, he's a great inspiration i've learned a lot from him working with him uh, but he has nothing to do with this thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank you very much